It's just a girl. I oh, don't know. Shot the looks on people's faces is so interesting. Wow. Oh man. There goes the big one. Whoa. Whoa. Crowd, man. Farewell. Wow, Paige. Got it, baby. Yeah. I look differently. Wow, my glasses. Um, so we are here in Carlsbad. Uh, we're close enough to White City. And we're at the... Oh, right. I can't flip it over when it's in video mode. Forget about that. Cactus Cafe. This is the menu. All of it. <laughs> Large selection here in the middle of nowhere. So we should be heading to the caverns next. Sorry if I'm not staring into the lens. I can't find it without my glasses. <laughs> we'll talk more later. Bye. Here's how the cave works. Um, I get, you start here, I guess. And you... Looks like you ride a roller coaster to the cave entrance. And then you fall all the way down until you get to the walkways that are... Well, actually, maybe there's another roller coaster down here. <laughs> okay, but seriously, it, it's up. This is... I'm guessing this is a site, like, uh, the, the path. This is the entrance. See, it's the natural entrance route right here. Oh, sorry. There you go. And so, you see how you just, you just, you just send all 830 feet. But look at how... Look at how steep that looks. It's amazing. So this is what we're going to experience. And this, oh, I think this is called the Bashful Elephant. You get it? <laughs> that is ridiculous. And so look, here says here the easiest route, and then moderate walking, and then the most strenuous walking, I guess that's um, going in and out of the Bashful entrance. And so this is kind of like the guided palette, the guided tour. Uh, there's a lot of information right here. Oh, interesting. Okay, we're in for quite an adventure. So, yeah, that's what's going on. It looks like it's going to be quite an adventure right here at Carl's Bad Caverns. Um, it's a beautiful day. Look at these, this rock work here at the entrance to the park. So here's a more accurate depiction of what it looks like. So we are here, and we hop, you hike down this way. Sorry, it's blurry. And then this is the natural entrance, and you just go down the zigzagging corridor. And there's more zigzags. So here's the bat caves. Here's all the bats live, see? Right here. So it zigzags like this, and then it's more downhill. And then you go underneath this gigantic rock called Devil's Den. And then it just keeps going and going. And there's, there's several routes you can take, as you can see. And there we go. Hopefully it's more in focus for you to read it. So I guess right here is the lowest point where it says Mirror Lake. And there's the bottomless pit, too. So this is the entrance to the cave, as you can see, there, that's the, the path, and so it just keeps winding and winding, it's like a, it's like a really long queue that never ends. And eventually you get to the attractions, now it's way, way down there. So I haven't done this since 1994, so this should be really interesting. I really don't remember much about this place, I just remember the cave, obviously, but, so this is going to be an interesting adventure. 
first time as an adult, first time in the 21st century, first time with digital media to capture it all, and you get to come along with me. So hope you enjoy the ride. Here's what it looks like from closer into the cave. And you can see the swallows. I don't know if you can see them, but they're like circling the top of the cave. And you know if you can see like way down there, it just keeps going and going. Surprised there's no railings. Into the abyss. See, look, look how high up we're we'll doing down. Look at how far the gentleman is. How high up. It's just so beautiful. It's actually really cool in here. It's like an air conditioning system. Okay. So check it out. We're in the back cave. I don't know if you can see it. Na 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 Batman. So this which I'm curious like which Batman is it? Is it Michael Keaton? Because I prefer that Batman. And Christian Bale's like plus second. Um, nobody can tell Brandon West, but you know, I'm not sure about George Clooney or Val Kilmer. I don't see the Batmobile. Maybe it's not that kind of Batcave. Get it? Batcave. So beautiful though. I don't know, but I hope you can hear the, uh, the sound of the swallows. They're not bats, those are swallows. Let's just listen for a little bit. Oh, sounds like at the beach. That's how far down we are now. Probably it's really hard to see, but look at this. Ooh. This area is called the Twilight Zone. It's the last area where the natural sunlight comes in in the daytime. It's hard to see, but this is a walkway and it just keeps going way, way down into where the light is way down there. And that's like two, three, three, four hundred feet down. It just zigzags all the way down. Now we are in a big room. I just thought I would show you. This is one of the few places where it's really bright and you can capture everything. It almost looks like Expedition Everest where you, where you see the Yeti. Hopefully there's not a Yeti here. And hopefully if there is, it's broken down just like on Expedition Everest. That. So yeah, as you can see, it's pretty pretty, pretty amazing in here. Um, right now, this is the big room, and I know it's really dark, and you can barely see my face, but this is it's actually really pretty in here. And I don't know if you can see how look on my face, but it's so amazing. Just look again, see how how beautiful it is. It's hard to believe this is all natural. It's amazing, like when, when like Walt, um, Walt, Dub, Walt Disney Magic Learning or Universal Creative tries to create, recreate this stuff. They do an amazing job. It looks just like the fit things at the theme parks. So back here you can see the soda straws right there, and then slide tights. Um, slide tights, they have to cling tight to the ceiling. The slide mites that grow mighty from the, the floor. And I don't know if you call them, but it's one of slag tight. It's slag, slag tight and slag mite meat. And these are drapes, and I think how they make you know, form. And this is popcorn. Oh, here you go. Slag tight, slag mites, and other key deposits are chiefly made chiefly of calcite and are called decorations or spilegium. <laughs> I can't say that word. When I go water. The groundwater containing calcium carbonate solution seeps into the caves. When the solution becomes exposed to the cave air, carbon dioxide gas is released. The calcite is deposited. Positive so straws are thin, hollow, selectite, formed by dripping water. It doesn't say anything about the drapes. Hmm. I wonder where the Yeti is. Wow. 
absolutely amazing. Oh look, here's how the, the cavern was formed. Okay, number one. 250 million years ago, marine plants and animals built a limestone reef along the edge of an inland sea. 60 million years ago, hydrogen sulfate gas from deep oil and gas deposits in water formed sulfuric acid, which dissolved, <laughs> dissolved cavities within the limestone. 3 million years ago, as more limestone dissolved cavities and enlarged, slowly, more ugh, water slowly drained from the cavern. Roof sections collapse, and then recently, slagtides, lagmites, and other cave decorations form as limestone laden groundwater dripped into the air filled cavern. And this is where we are today. So you can see the elevator and the visitor center. And the, the natural entrance, I guess, is like somewhere over there. So that's basically what happened. I don't know if you can see this, but it's a slag mite. It's a lag tight. It looks like a lion's tail. And I've tried really hard to photograph it, and it just like around. It's really dark. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna do it. So yeah, hopefully you can see that. That's pretty cool. There you go. So that pretty much does it. We've done everything and all the routes here that you can do without a guided tour, and it was pretty much it was very fun. And very exhausted, and time to go back up to the surface. That's pretty interesting. Hey, y'all doing? Yeah. Have you had? Yeah. So this is the elevator back to the surface room. My ears are starting to pop. <laughs> this is that still out? Oh yeah. That was only five. Oh, that's not even five. Wow. Yeah, it's not long ago. Yep. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. How deep was that? Seven hundred fifty feet. Seventy-five stories. Nine thousand inches. Nine thousand inches. Wow. I think they're yeah, they're big motor on top. Big, big. How many millimeters? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I'll tell you. We don't get asked that question much. <laughs> no, let's see. Big, 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 big. Millimeters. 20. Wait. 228,600. My God, wow. <laughs> look down, look down, look down, look down, look down, all the way down there. All the way down. Everyone misses that. You can't see anything. You can see lights way down there. See the light way down in the middle? Yeah, that's where we were, 750 feet down. So this is the, the audio device that came in really handy, but the whole town was thinking. It was like, um, it looks like a police nightstick, if you can see that. I'm just like, like, ah, you better, you must behave. I'll, I'll, I'll beat you with my stick, eh? <laughs> but it was really cool. So uh, it has these buttons, and um, there's like 50 markers, right? And you push the button, like, for 50, and it tells you different information about the cave. When I was younger, we used to have radios, and they would crackle, and it was hard to hear what they're saying, and it would activate when you reach a certain point in the cave. And it's amazing how much technology has changed since 2000 and it's 1994. So amazing. <laughs> That's it.